Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If this is your first time here, please consider clicking subscribe and that little bell notification icon. If you're a return visitor, subscriber, thank you very much. If you haven't hit that bell notification icon, go ahead and do that. So what we're going to talk about tonight is a new router that we are adding to the fleet. And it's a brand that a lot of people outside of the United States use. And even people inside the United States are starting to use it. And that is Draytech. So let's take a look at this router. I ordered this myself. Uh, this is the, uh, I don't know if it's Vigor or Vigor 2960. It's a dual RAN router. This is the box. I haven't taken it out of the plastic. I thought we would uh, do that together. So this is the box that it comes with comes in you know I'm not a real fancy unboxer here but inside the box we get uh, a GNU uh, software warning that's nice I always like it when companies are upfront about using open source products and modifying it uh, you'll notice that there's some other companies that don't do that product registration card that's fantastic a quick start guide which is a, it's a whole book on quick starting here then we get lots of cardboard the device itself all right so here is the device itself on the front it's got an activity light looks like a denial of service or something of service DOS QoS CSM WAN 1 USB 1 VPN WAN 2 USB Two, it's got a reset button, gig WAN one and two, and then four ports and then four um, Ethernet ports there. Stamped name there, all the usual FCC information, and then on the back it does use a standard, what I would consider a standard, you know, like PC type uh, power cable, and then you've got an on-off switch, power cord get uh, some mounting screws rack ears so that is I'm uh, I'm really excited about adding this this router to the fleet go over to the computer we're gonna we're gonna plug this in we're gonna fire it up and um, actually you know what we may go ahead and rack mount this <laughs> By the way, uh, this can handle 20 VLANs. It's got all kinds of um, VPNs. We're going to go through the interface real quick. We're going to use this in some of our other um, videos that are coming up. Uh, some of our voice over IP videos. Well, let's see. Hardware install, we already racked it. So we're going to put a computer on any of the LAN ports is what it says and then the default username and password is going to be admin admin and the default IP is going to be 192.168.1.1 so I've got my cable here I'm going to plug it in all right so admin admin and our web interface is going to come, it comes up and it warns us that we are using the default password so let's go ahead and change that password Okay, password has been changed. All right, you can see it's got a really nice graphic interface here. We've got a system overview, got all of our firmware information. Over here, we've got a quick start wizard that lets us do uh, WAN 1 is DHCP, so we could click next on this and then we could put a uh, host name in there we won't uh, yeah we won't do that right now we've got all of our WAN options it's, ooh, it's got a USB WAN so it's set up to use uh, uh, USB dongles got inbo inbound load balancing WAN switch setup very nice we can mirror the ports very nice. Under LAN, we've got a general setup. Let's see. If 
we edit this, what kind of options we get. All kinds of options. VLANs, priorities, modes, so NAT. So uh, this can do NAT or straight up routing, which is nice. That's fantastic. We've got all kinds of options there. You know, DHCP, THCP relay, interlan routing. DHCP version 6. It's got a PPPoE server. Got our switch set up here. Jumbo frames. Man, look at all the options this thing has. This is going to be nice when we get into it. Uh, my next video will be, we'll do a, a basic setup. We'll set up some uh, VPNs right here, the LAN DNS. This is where we can run uh, DNS right on this box. Routing, looks like we've got load balancing pool, static routes, policy routes, fast routes, default routes, RIP, OSPF, BGP. Very nice. Here's all of our NAT configuration. So we got port redirection, fast NAT, server load balancing, DMZ host. Here's our ALGs. Connection timeouts, firewall, we've got firewall filtering, IP version 6, application, URL, uh, web category, that's awesome. QQ filter, uh, it does have some DOS defense in, that's very nice. Man, this thing has a lot of options, so we're going to have to really dig into this. Mac blocking, filter counts, What's this? So we can set up, oh yeah, look at all these different objects we can set up. IP groups, IP objects. Oh, this is fantastic. Service, keyword, DNS objects, web category objects. Holy cow, SMS, notification. I think I am going to really like this, and I think you are really going to like this. This came highly, highly recommended, and I can see why. It's got a web portal built into it. Let's see, land DNS, login mode, HTTP, HTTPS, non auth. Man, this thing. It's got to be running Linux under the hood. User profiles. Yeah, it does open VPN. That's awesome. Samba. User groups, guest profiles, radius, LDAP, Active Directory. So you can authenticate against Active Directory. That's nice. It's got uh, dynamic DNS, and I believe that it supports Google out of the box. So if we go to service provider, there it is, Google domains, out of the box, open DNS. Look at all these uh, zone edit, uh, vigor DNS, or v somebody tell me if I'm pronouncing that uh, correctly. But it, look at this, you can even do user defined if you can't find the service provider, which is really nice. Oh, that was the other thing. Did I just see Let's Encrypt? Let's Encrypt status. So this will do Let's Encrypt. That's nice. Does DNS uh, sec, GVRP, IGMP proxy, UPnP, high availability. You can do hot standby or active standby. That's awesome. Hot standby, active HA status. I may have to get another one of these just to do that. Wake on LAN, SMS mail, Alerting service, VPN and remote access. So we've got PPTP, which we shouldn't be using. You've got IPsec, SSL, VPN server wizard, same thing, remote access control. So open VPN is on here as well. It's just not enabled by uh, default. General uh, PPP setup, here's our SSL VPN. Open VPN setup, IPsec general setups. This is where we would set our pre-shared key. It's pretty intuitive, actually, if you if you are used to uh, working with firewalls. A lot of this stuff, um, you look at it for a second, and you're like, oh yeah, that that that's what that is. VPN trunk connection management. Let's see, certificate management, local certificate. There it is. Let's encrypt. So we can load Let's Encrypt on this guy. That's fantastic. You can do trusted CAs. You can do remote certificates. SSL proxy. So we can proxy. It looks like we can proxy internal services to the, uh, the web interface on this. That's fantastic. Here's SSL applications. It looks like they got VNC and RDP built in. That's awesome. So we're definitely going to check that out. Bandwidth management, we can do quality of service. 
We can do QoS. We can do software QoS, hardware QoS. Man, this thing is thorough. I think I'm really going to enjoy this. Session limit, bandwidth limit, USB application, disk status. So we can put a hard drive on this. FTP server, Samba server, print server. You can buy a temperature server or a temperature sensor that plugs into this. This tells us what USB dongle modems this thing uh, will support. So that is, that's awesome. System maintenance, TR069, admin password, configuration backup, time and date, access control. So this is where we can enable and disable um, access to the web interface, all kinds of things here. Allow ping from the WAN, server certificate, setup, fail to ban. That's awesome. Access barrier, SNMP. Reboot, we can do a firmware upgrade. Ooh, look at this, auto firmware upgrade. So it can check and install. You can also do patching, auto firmware patch. This is fantastic. App signatures, app support list. So these are all the apps that it can detect. P2P, IM, all these different protocols here. Others. Wow, this is awesome. Diagnostics, got a route table, DNS cache, DHCP table, session table, traffic stats, traffic graph, web console. Oh, very nice. What's this? I typed that in right, but I... Oh. Very nice. This is, this is awesome. I'm like a kid in a candy store with this router. Ping or trace route, data flow monitor, user status. And then, of course, they have their own central management where you can manage uh, VPNs, uh, their switches, and all kinds of stuff right from the uh, device. Looks like, if I, if I had to guess, this is probably like SNMP based. I don't know that for sure. But we, um, we are definitely going to dig into this. We're going to do some setups. I wanted to show you this. I'm going to play around with it for a bit, then there'll be a video. We're getting ready to hit uh, uh, a series here for a couple months on, on some other products. But I wanted to get this out there. I wanted to show you and you know the setup video and some of the different setup videos with this will be intertwined with some of the other videos. But I was super excited to get this. Um, I am going to pair this with, and I'll do a video on this. This is a Netgear. Um, business switch. It's a uh, pro safe. It has a lifetime warranty um, layer two switch. I'm super, super excited about pairing these two up together for some of these, these projects. We're going to show you, you don't have to spend a boatload of money um, on switches and routers to do things securely, to do it properly. So yeah, I am, like I said, I am super duper excited about this Draytech. All right, so that's it for this video. I'm super, super excited about the Draytech. I hope you are too. I'll leave a link to the Dray Draytech and to the uh, Netgear switch that we're going to use down in the description in case you want to pick one of those up. It, they are affiliate links, but they don't change your price. They do kick a couple bucks over here, but get used to seeing the Draytech. We're going to use the primary routers that we're going to be using here in the, the very uh, near term is we're going to be using the Draytech. We are going to be using the um, Grandstream GWN 7000, and we are going to be using um, edge routers. So those are going to kind of be the three we're going to be messing with, and we're going to throw PF Sense in there as well. And uh, maybe I'll do a maybe I'll do a comparison video on those. Not not sure, but I'm I'm really excited about this. Like I said, these these Draytex came highly highly recommended, so I had to get my hands on one and play with it. And I really think. If the uh, setup gets me as excited about it as just uh, taking it out of the box, plugging it in, looking at the web interface, I think we're all in store for some really good things. So that's it for this video. Please give me a thumbs up. If you like the video, come back for more Draytech videos. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form. Someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. 
If you would like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, thank you to those folks. That link is down below as well as all of our affiliate links. Once again, don't feel obligated to use those, uh, but they are down below. They don't change your price. They do kick a couple bucks over here. So uh, I want to thank you all for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.